ASMR. Ah, the listeners will love that. I, if I'd have worn this to football, it would be the second most embarrassing thing I did at football tonight. So I was playing in goal for my team and um, we needed to win by seven to stand a chance of winning the league title and then we needed a result to go in our favour. Um, it was about 5-1. No, sorry, it was 5-0. And uh, <laughs> I was in goal. This ball looped right up in the air. Fucking hell, butterfingers over here. I was like, ah. I was like waving at it. Parried it out to this guy. Absolute salad fingers. Out to this guy. Slotted it home. Um, but then I, I rallied the troops. Just There was too comfortable at 5-0. I rallied them. I said, listen, switch on. But yeah, went up the other end and assisted a couple from keeper. Um, I think we won like 9-1. And then, but the result did not go in our favour, so we did not win the league. Ah, okay, right. I'm not asked anyway, I wouldn't have been part of it. So, <laughs> I, threw that, I threw that goal in for fun, for a laugh. So what? Don't care. Um, what do you mean you would have been part of it? You've not played enough games? Well, I wouldn't have felt part of it. I've only played the last two. Right, right, okay. Yeah. Although I did set that, you know, I was fundamental in setting that five-side team up back in the day, genuinely. Um, but, yeah, nowadays I just can't be asked. And to be honest, you know... They, this is the commitment me and Harry are showing to you guys right now. And you are, to be fair, you're showing the commitment back with the watching and stuff and in, in, engrossing yourself with with us. But um, this is the commitment we are. I've not had my tea. And for a big boy, <laughs> it's quite the sacrifice. All right. So, um, yeah, we're straight home. Straight, packet of fucking snacks for the pod. That's going to do no good. What snacks you got? No good for the sound quality. Um, barbecue bowls, barbecue flavour maize snacks. It's just crisp. I see the front are. <laughs> very American. Yeah, very American. Grace, as I said, I, I don't lie. I, everything I say on this pod is true. Grace knows I love American snacks. She came home from the shop with that. She's a keeper. Um, are oh, you the keeper? Oh, thank <laughs> Here he is. Here he is. They should have played there tonight. <laughs> Picked away, left off. I'm sweaty again, though. Fucking hell. Probably all that diving around in net, keeping the team in it. Fucking hell. Um, so, yeah, the, the sacrifice is real. You know, uh, Halfway through this pod, Grace is going to bring me up some food. I'm just going to eat it on the podcast because I don't give a fuck. Maybe I should. You know what you're having? Um, a sandwich of sorts. Oh, sandwich, fair enough. Uh, set, set timer for 18 minutes, please. Please. <laughs> now, then, welcome back to JD's Match Day Mashup, the show that keeps you up to date with all the latest footy results whilst doing what me and your American mum do. Full around. <laughs> yeah. As always, I'm joined by the man who makes all this possible. He's recorded more than a teacher taking register. He's watched so many trolley matches, the players are literally coming in his ears. Max and Paddy. <laughs> so little sense. <laughs> he's, he's the prince. If you think that's bad, wait for this one. He's the prince Andrew to my guilty. That's right. It's our super producer, Harry. How are you doing, Harry? Good good week? Yeah, been all right, mate. Yeah. Um, went on a rare night out on Friday, to be honest, and it kind of knocked me for six. Uh-oh. But um, feeling all right now. And uh, got some football yesterday. Went to... National League North playoff semi in Chester. Nice. Uh, lost one nil to Brackley, uh, to Brackley Town, mm. and uh, the home fans didn't take it well. Did not. So invaded the pitch and imme- immediately went for the Brackley fans. Did they? Fucking hell. That th- their own smart canisters in there and stuff. That's that's what I love about non-league. You do not get. You <laughs> can't get that in the prem. Try to get on the pitch in the prem. It's fucking get him off quick. Ah, oh, fucking grow a pair. And they, do you know? And whilst I'm on this little rant, do you know what really pisses me off when you're watching the prem on TV and you get a streaker, you know, or anyone running on the the camera pans away. We all want to fucking see it. Come on. <laughs> and that's a proper pet peeve of mine. I want to see what's going on. I'm a nosy bastard. I want to see what's going on. Yeah. Um. But it's just so boozy at that level because you can drink in the seats. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So you get you get people just like wandering around with like just two pints on the go constantly. Alcohol footy fans do not mix. No. And he's like a sunny bank holiday afternoon as well. Oh. So. Yeah. Straight to the red. You know. Um, we've all been there. Though. We've all let ourselves down in some way or another. I imagine. <laughs> when it comes when it comes to the old devil's nectar. Ah oh, yeah, I mean. Who knows what on Friday? I can't really remember. But um, and is it any pod? Can we uh, speak about it on the pod? Or is it not fit for pod? 
I generally can't remember much after a bump. Went out about um, was... went out with the sauce's brother actually. Oh, did you? <laughs> did you? But he went. I should have gone home when he did, but uh, I stayed out with some of his mates and it got a bit. Do as a fit. Like, just let me just wipe my brow. How <laughs> cutting this out, pod? I am so sweaty. It's ridiculous. Sort me out. Ah, so who did you go out with? Sorry. Uh, the sausage brother. Oh yeah. But then. Um, he went home at a fairly sensible time, and I stayed out with his mates. Um, <laughs> was that, and, that, and, was, and that was not probably not my more, but... Was that a not wise decision, though? No, I mean it scared me into sobriety, probably. So. Scared you into sobriety. <laughs> <laughs> and was... I'll be honest with you, mate. I was, the hangover was that bad on Saturday that I just couldn't watch a live game of football. I was just sat watching Breaking Bad all day. Bre- that's mad. <laughs> that's not easy watching. Breaking Bad is not easy. It's fantastic. Do not get me wrong, but that's not easy watching. I Foot- know there's ups and downs, yeah. Football's easy watching. You know, when I'm hungover, <laughs> what do I like to watch? Oh my god. The office Office US is perfect for hangover. UK less so and like that's for different reasons. You uh, the UK more intelligent, you know, but not as easy watching, I don't think. Uh, but the US office for hangover, Brooklyn nine nine, all that sort of stuff, mate, all that good American trash T V. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I was listening to um Ricky Gervais, Sher, Carl Bulkin and stuff in between. Very good. That's my that's my go-to when I'm feeling very low. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Carl. Help me out with this pit again, would you? Come on. Yeah. There we are again. Yes, I've been there many but, uh, times. Did you go out over the weekend? No, I've had a right. So many bank holidays at the minute. Oh, too many. Well, not enough, in fact. Um, no, I didn't go... I, no, I did not go out. I did really boring fucking middle-aged stuff again i actually need a big blowout i need a big blowout so if anyone's watching fancies a pint don't get in touch because that's weird to be honest but just um if any of my friends are watching then get in touch because you're not you're not calling you're not texting anymore i don't know what's going on um our featured game this week was a matchup between two magicians pep's created magic wherever he's been whereas it's a miracle big sam's still walking with his diet Gungan put leads to the sword with two early goals, showing that he's got the stones come the business end of the season. And do you know what he always does, doesn't he? He always comes good at the end of the season. When it, when the title's on the line, Gungan sends it to fucking Superman. Yeah, he's one of the pets reliable few players, and he like just slowly going about his business. Yeah, I hate him quietly. Now, <laughs> and do you know what? He's probably one of the players that I actually quite like from that team. But he just always seems to turn up when it fucking matters, like. Last game of the season last year, wasn't he? He was the ones that got the goals, didn't he? Yeah, but I've got a memory of him fucking up a bit once as well. Was it um, when they played Man- when they lost Man United that time? When they could have won the league against Man United? Oh, really? Didn't he have a bit of them there? Oh, yeah, yeah, they pulled him off, didn't they? Yeah, but he made up for it. And, mm. and, and more. Fucking hell. Yeah. yeah. Fellas are sending me. Oh, yeah. Get off his back. I always <laughs> thought that, that blighted that season a bit for Man City, though. Uh, they won the league with 100 points, but it could have been that massive day. Yeah. Fuck him. We got done after being turned up. Anyway. Rash by 10. Okay. Harlan proved he wasn't a robot as he felt obliged to let Gungan take the penalty and complete his hat-trick. Pep was livid as the German missed the penalty. Rumour has it has made Harlan pay the penalty of watching every Chelsea game back-to-back this season. Rodrigo pulled one back for Big Sam's Bovril boys, but much like the highly decorated BBC One quiz show, it was pointless as the game finished 2-1. So what did you make of it? It's a sad day as a Leeds fan. <laughs> Especially with the results. Like, we're filming this on the Monday. And so we're, we're pretty much alongside live results now happening as we speak. And Southampton are taking a bit of a battering. Everton have just won 5 fucking 1. Well, Southampton have just put one back. Have they? 3 2? Yeah, it's, quite, it's another bit of a blinder. <sighs> oh. Oh, they very nearly made it 3 3. Gary Neville over here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Uh, Man City, yeah, I was going to ask you. I was thinking I'll ask Joey if he's um, ever given up a penalty, but I imagine you've, you're only too happy to do it, aren't you? I'll give up loads of penalties, yeah. Giving up loads of penalties. I'll tell you what, though. <laughs> Again, this adds to the fact that I can't take a penalty and black out pretty much when I. When I take penalties, so, and this story involves the sauce as well, actually. So we played for the same uh, team, me and the sauce, 
And uh, I was having a good game. Felt confident, right? Won this penalty. And I said, I'm going to have it. I backed myself again, stupidly. <laughs> and he, he was our penalty taker. The source was our penalty taker. And good penalty taker as well. Top, top striker in his day as well, to be fair to him. Uh, but I said, no, listen here. I feel, I've got the bollocks today. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong. Feeling confident. Pass me that ball. Long story short, blacked out, put it straight down the middle. Keeper caught it. <laughs> Literally caught it. I think it floated into his hands. Um, so, yeah. But later on in that game, did score a diving header. I'm five for eight. I've not had it where I've passed up a pen. I've had it where I've actually took a pen off somebody and missed. And that genuinely is one of the worst feelings in football. <laughs> Do you know what annoyed me there? I had a real good game later on in that game. Like, genuinely, it's got an assist, scored a goal. I remember that. Pretty perf- pretty pathetic that I remember an 11-a-side game as a fucking 13-year-old. But I remember I played well, got an assist, scored a goal. And then I get off the pitch, our manager was like, oh, well done, everyone here. Yeah. Oh, Joey, shame about that penalty miss. Don't mention the penalty miss. Don't mention it. Just say you were fantastic. You lit the game up. You're like a little swan out there, elegant, dancing around defenders. Say that. Don't say you missed the pen. <laughs> Did you win the game, though, yeah? Drew to all. <laughs> oh, well. Might be worth mentioning then. God. Pep was, like, quite visible in saying, what was he saying? You've got to take it or something. Yeah. You've got, you've got, you, but you must have, you must take them or something. Yeah. I mean, calm down, Pep. Fuck me. To be fair to Gungadon, he's run through brick walls for Pep for years. He's got a chance for a hat trick. Yeah. You're 2-0 up, you're sailing at that point, and you're never going to lose. You're never going to look, you're never even going to draw. Let the fella have a bit of fucking fun out there, would you? I like that from Haaland. I like it from Haaland. Do you know what we said like last week? Mbappe would probably fucking stamp a little paddy and say, nah, I'm having that, wouldn't he? Mbappe or Haaland, I'm backing Haaland every day of the week. I want to go for a pint with you. <laughs> it does look like a laugh. Um, I, d- I did watch a bit of that. I did watch a bit of match the other day, actually, though, and um, Shearer was on about when I think... They beat Chef United. They beat Chef Wednesday eight nil once for the first game of the season. Did he see it? And he said he wouldn't. Clip, he yeah. wouldn't let that. He'd already scored a hat trick. It's got four. He, he scored four. <laughs> no, but then he got and then yeah, he scored four. It's seven nil or something. Got yeah. to the won a penalty and he wouldn't. And then the young lad said, "Can I take it?" Or was it his debut or something? Probably. Landis had never been seen again. That's it. Shearer said Shearer, no. Have a, have a day off, mate. You fucking tight bastard. Have a day off. I know that makes you ruthless, but come I didn't, on. Yeah, I didn't enjoy his attitude either. Just like, nah, do it again. That's what we have to yeah. do. It's like, come on, man, fuck off. I know, chill out. <laughs> fucking hell. Like, have a day off. Have a day off, Shira. Yes, you've got the you've got the most goals in the Prem. Don't mean now, really. To get within about six, is he in within 60? I think it's about 50. Have a look. Quickly. So it's, two, it's only two 25 goal seasons. Yeah, oh, quick, quick maths. That's right. Bob's right. Yeah. Top scorers. Um, I remember Bashira back in Mason Greenwood through, which is a shame. Oh, oh, bad judge of character. Yeah, <laughs> I won't back Mason Greenwood to do anything. Less said the better. There, yeah, fifty-one to go for Ken to level it. So, yeah, I think he'll do that. Interesting. It sounds like he's going to stay, you know. Oh, my God. Get yourself out, Harold. Get yourself out, Harold. Fucking hell. Yeah, it sounds like, it's more like he wants to stay and run out his contract or something. Spread your wings. Fly, baby. Good. Life only happens once, you know. You know? That's what I say. <laughs> You're that's lost. also a good phrase, yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> What do you make of Big Sam's what's first impressions and a Big Sam right. one game in? Okay. Let's talk a little serious for a moment. Um, we went to the Etihad last year and got beat 7 0. So, and teams can go to the Etihad and get done 6 or 7. And up until tonight, we was only out the bottom three on goal difference. So, it's going to come, it's going to be tight. It's going to be very, very fucking tight. So, goal difference is going to be huge. Going there and losing 2-1 genuinely felt like a bit of a victory, actually, if I'm honest. Fair enough. Because teams could get absolutely done there, can't they? Well, yeah, obviously, yeah. Um, did you feel at any point... Because I didn't watch the game live, but I 
Hair that like leads, even at 2 1. Any point was in the game. No. That's what I'm asking, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely not. (laughs) Right. No, we were. Honestly, they're like a swarm of bastard bees, aren't they? They fucking choke you to death. (laughs) It's horrible. I don't. Again, fucking claustrophobic just thinking about them. They pin you in so high, you can't get out. It reminds me of Mer- very much of, you, on a lesser scale that you know the BL suppress, very much what we used to try and do, and it works. It's fucking effective because if you can't, you just can't get out. And where do you go? You make mistakes. Um, if you do go down, would you want him next season in the championship? I'd take holidays. Yeah, I'd take holidays definitely. Um, yeah, I think I think it's um. I think it's a big ask, obviously, to keep us up now. And I don't necessarily think he's maybe going to do it. Although I was speaking to a couple of guys tonight. And they were saying... I was just speaking to the fucking lads tonight. <laughs> and um, if you think about it, West Ham will have loads to play for in Europe, don't they? So we, we play them at good time, potentially. Um, I mean, they're just beating Man United, but yeah. Fucking hell, anyone could beat Man United when <laughs> Salad Fingers is tossing them in. I was <laughs> my mistake tonight was generally worse than the gays. <laughs> That's how bad it was. But I'm I'm not a keeper. I've told you this loads of times. I got five assists tonight. Five assists from keeper. What is it? It's fly keeper or just Yeah, you can come out. Well no, it's not fly, but like you can come out your area and stuff in six in there. And that is I know flying, that I got, Well no, but nobody can come in nobody can take over from me. Ah, okay, right. In there. But um, I know I've mentioned this before. You know, I go up and down whether I'm good or bad. One thing I've got is a fucking lethal left foot. Uh, and only left footers can. We've said this before. I can open a tin of fucking beans. Right? So, yeah, I can find anybody, mate. But there were some people watching on the sideline when I palmed one in. It was <laughs> fucking... Oh, it's so embarrassing. Oh, I'm going to be thinking about that for the whole next week. You know, when you just have... I'll be eating my tea or something and I'll have a flashback and I'm going to fucking... Go and throw myself off a bridge or something. That's it, that on pod. Um, over a fucking footy match that we won 9 1. That shows you where I'm at. That mm. shows you where I'm at. Get to Andy's Man Club, mate. So, like and subscribe. <laughs> Makes me feel good. Um, yeah, I took Big Sam down in Championship. He knows the league well. He, t- he took West Ham up, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I'd probably back him, yeah. I'd back him. Yeah. Some big team's going to go down there. There's going to be some big old fucking teams going down. Let's have a look. I wish Everton would just fuck off. You can't see what I've done. <laughs> you can't see what I've done here. I'll mm. put on my whiteboard. <laughs> so the camera can pick it up, but you like you can't see it. Right. On my whiteboard, it says, um, I've done Hangman. But it says Everton, I cunts. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Just a bit of fun, <laughs> for me. Um, yeah, should we move on to Chelsea Bournemouth? Yeah, Chelsea Bournemouth. Next up, we had Frank's failures against a buoyant Bournemouth. Oh, there she is. Come on in. Come on in, say hello to Harry. Well, it's not live. I'll edit you out. Come here. Hello. Thank you very much. Look at that. Stay that. Look him. Oh, Two old the... big sandwich. Hi, Harry. <laughs> well, then you're all right. Nice baps. <laughs> Lovely bit of business. Um, look at the state of that. that. I've got it good, guys. I've got it good. Look at that. We've got a bacon, uh, we've got bacon, chicken, cucumber, lettuce, tomato, baps. Spot on. I just call them bread cakes. So, I know there's that, there's that massive fucking debate, isn't there? What do you call them? Bread cakes, baps. What do, some people call them like cobs. Cobs? That's mental. <laughs> Cob. Like, let us know in the comments what you call them, because um, that's crazy. But yeah, so I don't know how much that's going to affect the pop image, do you? Just do Just go for it, mate. We don't care here, mate. But again, it comes back to this commitment. I'll I'll do the pod live and I'll eat I'll eat my tea. That Come could be a, that could be our new niche. Yeah, we'll eat we'll eat and stuff. And <laughs> don't bother me anything for you guys. Anything for you guys. Don't worry about it. Football and food. Football and food. Think about it. Football, food and bloody fanny. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cut that out. Okay, yeah. Cut Ashen that Grace out. has walked out now, Ashen. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's gone. Frank Lampard narrowly escaped becoming the next 007 meme as he lives on to die another day. Hmm? We're having that one. Nice. Rumour has it Frank's aiming to become the permanent Chelsea manager for the second time. Never say never. Again. <laughs> Fucking full of them tonight. I'm not even a Bond fan. Oh yeah, I've, Google. that went over my head, so... Yeah, Google that. It wasn't all plain sailing, does it? took two late goals from Badashiel and Felix the Cat to secure the win. <laughs> Rumour has it Frank was so happy with a win, he tried to sling his gold finger straight up the big pussy. Felix. That is wild. It's a cat. It's a cat. Felix the Cat. What about Frank finally avoided the 007 meme? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know why, it's quite annoying. I wanted, wanted it to drag on a bit, did you? Yeah, I'd like it to drag on. I'd like them to like actually get a little bit worried about maybe getting dragged into the relegation battle. <laughs> that would have been unbelievable. Chef's kiss. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> but um, it's not to be. Look at the state of these. It's class. Get one in you. Yeah. We're going for a bit of an ASMR. Is that Tiger Bread? Fucking right, man. Okay, you know, she's done you good there. Yeah, it's... Oh, one sec. Live reaction, please. Mm. Mm. You got any uh, condiments for that? <laughs> yeah, no. <mayo. laughs> Good choices. I'm just thinking to myself, how far my career has sank that I'm just gorging food down my mouth, down my gullet, for for comedic effect. What do they call it? A guck bang or something? A guck bang? What's that? What's it called? Can I... No, a muck. <laughs> It's a mukbang, they called it. Yeah, I think you've been looking at different websites what I've been looking at. <laughs> no, it's called a, a mukbang. What's a mukbang? Where uh, someone eats just a fuckload of food on t- on camera. Why is that right? I think so, yeah. I don't want to Google it on my work computer, but... Sign us up to a mukbang. Well, that's what I'm doing. Mm. I feel like I can smell it, I don't know why. Get your greens in, kids. You know, Grow strong, big and healthy like me. Um, no, Frank Lampard, on a serious note, yeah, you know, absolute nothing season. Absolute nothing season for Chelsea, innit? The, well, the, yeah. What's annoying about Chelsea is they'll come next season and they'll be fucking red hot, won't they? They'll be class. Because to do that at Chelsea, it's like a cycle. It's like crisis, success, crisis, success. Yeah, but has, has um, Pochettino even been announced yet? No. So yeah, so that. they've got to secure that first. Imagine if the get. Imagine if Frank goes on a run in these next couple of fixtures, and Bo is like, "Do you know what, Frank? Stay on, brother." Wouldn't surprise you at the minute, would it? No. Don't know what he's Where capable of. He's, he's wild. Todd Bo is wild. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, what else did I put? I put your yeah, impressive goal from Babio Shelley. I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, well, not as clue. The Canio style finish. It was nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too much game. Have not okay. seen it. Was it a scissors? A scissors, was it? Yeah. That's the one, yeah. Number four. He's a centre half, isn't he? Yeah. First ever Prem goal. Doing scissor kicks. First ever Prem goal, centre half, scissor kicks. In a relegation scrap. Fair play. Um yeah, who was playing then? Bournemouth. Definitely yeah, not, not a lot to say, to be honest. Do you know what though? I, I have to take my hat off to him because I, at the start of the season, I laughed him down. <laughs> You'll be down, but they've proved me wrong. Quite frustratingly, actually, because uh, you, you look at that game at the start of the season as a Leeds fan, six-pointer. Um, yeah, I thought we were cannon, <laughs> cannon fodder to go down. But By the way, can we just reflect for a moment how accurate I was about five weeks ago, six weeks ago, when I said, why aren't we getting big salmon? I called it, didn't I? I should clip that up. <laughs> but I can imagine, I can hear you saying that most seasons, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, top of the league. We need big salmon. No, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, I like the guy. Can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say seamless segue into my prediction with uh, Liverpool. W- with Man United, yeah. Looking like it might be on. Maybe not, though. Which uh, offense? Oh, it's far, it's far too forest, FYI. Fuck off. Steve Cooper. 
good manager to be to be fair oh that's repeating on me need a Gaviscon but I'll tell you what if we could get any sponsors for this pod Gaviscon I don't fucking I'll go through them like the smarties <laughs> I love them well, I don't, they love me they love me my body hates all this food this fucking hell that's ridiculous isn't it the amount of food and shit I've got here it was the story of the beds and the bees as the live of beds took on the bees of Brentford at Anfield. The game came to a climax with Salah scoring the only goal. Finish 1-0. <laughs> so, your prediction for Liverpool to do a little sneak into the top four may be coming to fruition. Yeah, they're only one point off now with uh, still play the game more. But people saying, I heard people saying today that United have got... Um, United, I still like calling that really. Uh, they've got three home games to finish the season. Oh, that's not true, though. They've got Bournemouth away. But yeah, people saying the three home games will get them over the line. Well, Wolves, Chelsea and Fulham at home. But you never know. But like you said, uh, Bournemouth now safe. You know, that, their heads will be on the beach very soon. You'd have thought. So yeah, they, they'll turn, they've got enough to turn Bournemouth over, even even away from home. He's wobble. Uh, I, predict, I did predict a wobble for Man United and... Uh, yeah, it needs a severe wobble, but they're, they're looking capable, fuck me. Yeah, they're they're, uh, they're leaving a leaving a chance. So. Yeah. Oh, but that maybe they're doing it on purpose because I'd do that. I'd just fuck. I'd go oh, give the scouts a chance, get the ropes up a bit. That's what I'd. You know, especially as United, if you're United, you hate each other. At each other's fucking throats, aren't you? So I'd be like, oh yeah, make it look as if we're gonna fucking fuck it up. <laughs> fucking. Well, like losing look- losing seven at Anfield for banter. Yeah, yeah, because in the long run, that will pay dividends because they'll get their hopes up going, fucking hell, we're, gonna, we're actually going to get to... Ah, oh, you fuck, mate. Stick to your <laughs> Thursday nights. Um, I didn't watch the game. I didn't see any of it. I saw the goal, actually. Tell I saw the goal. Dead. Shit, goes. It, it looked, looked like a FIFA goal, wasn't it? Yeah, it looked... Yeah, it did look like a FIFA goal, actually. Uh, cross box. Back in. Um... Didn't, it looked a boring game, to be honest. Get mm. in the comments if you if you feel differently, because we didn't watch the game, so we could be chatting shit. It could have been the most entertaining one they'll ever. But well, a lot of the talk was off the pitch now. again with the uh, with the booing, which I quite enjoyed, to be honest. That's... Oh yeah, yeah. That was a good laugh. Yeah. The Scousers, I, I tell you what, you're passionate. We say it everywhere, you're, you're fucking passionate, and um, hate the establishment, don't they? Hate any establishment, really. I was going to segue that into Arsenal. If you want, okay. but yeah, yeah, let's skipping ahead a bit, just because people going a bit wild and saying, "Oh, it's gr- amazing they've put on this performance shows they're not bottling it." It's like, well, it's the, the the chasing now, aren't they? The pressure's off yeah. a bit. That is that you're right there. Pressure's off Arsenal. It is easier to chase than to defend. I think definitely. Yeah, and like, like Man City can still off. afford to lose one game. Yeah, no, fuck it. There's no way. There's no way City drop enough points for Arsenal to make that up now. No way. City are killers. In the Prem, when when it's crunch time, City are absolute killers. And it does my fucking head in. I hate them. But mm. they are see, undeniably killers. They can lose, They could lose one, maybe, but not, not two. Yeah, not going to lose two. No way. I don't think so. We've got better goal differences as well. City, imaginably. Have a look. Um, GD, yeah. By, better by 14 goals. 14! You know, that's mad, isn't it? They're so good. They're actually annoying. Next up, we had Newcastle against Arsenal, and the Gunners were bed watching as they shot down the Magpies' chances of victory. Newcastle have one of the best defenders in the Premier League, but they couldn't guard against the Norwegian as Odegaard makes it 1 0. The game finished 2 0 as Arsenal keep the heat on C. Did um, you watch the game? Yeah, I did actually. Did you? Carragher yeah, called it one of the best games of the season. Would you agree with that? Carragher called it one of the best games of the season? Yeah. It's chatting shit. <laughs> no, one of the best. <laughs> not a chance. No way. There was um, what was the game last week? That was fucking shit hot. That was the best game last of the week. season. Last week, who was that? Bloody hell! Let's have a look. Uh... <laughs> Liverpool Spurs. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I did that research. Then. Carragher just chats <laughs> shit, doesn't he? Carragher says out for a bit of clickbait. Carragher saying that's the best game of the season. That, that's a bold claim, if you ask me. Um, I think there's been some very good games this season, to be fair, which we're not going to touch on because I can't remember off the top of my head and I can't be asked to do research, right? Sue me. 
Yeah, I'll do that another pod during the summer or something. <laughs> yeah, when we're struggling for content, that is when we'll do the best game of the season. You know. <laughs> I've read uh, apparently how didn't take it very well the defeat. I've not I've not read exactly what he said. Oh really? I uh, didn't. I watched the game, but it was on like um, it was that barbecue, so it was on an iPad. You know, couldn't couldn't hear the comms. To be to be trying to chat, couldn't hear the comms. Um, but yeah, saw 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 all the action. All right, don't worry about that. Yeah, quite social, like really, quite a social animal. I love football as much as the next guy, but at the same time, I don't want to be rude. You know, I'm not going to be like, oh, shut up, I'm trying to watch a game. I'll chat. You know. <laughs> Next up, we had Spurs Palace, and Kane had to call the Undertaker as he scores the only goal to kill the game. Um, we touched on Kane earlier a little bit. Yeah, I mean, he... in my notes, I just put for this game, boring as piss. Boring as piss. It fucking sounds it. He's, he's second in the top scorers list this season with twenty six, which would be, which would usually be a, yeah, a shoe yeah. in to get the to get the title, but uh, the title to get the top player. Oh, fucking hell, start that again. <laughs> golden, golden boot, yeah? Golden boot, yeah. You would be sure to get the golden boot, but Haaland's just taking the piss, isn't he? It's so easy to forget how good of a season Kane's had, actually. Considering the World Cup that he had and stuff, yeah. Considering his team's absolute dross. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, I was worried for him after the World Cup. Because like, he's taken a lot of big losses, hasn't he? Yeah, I think, what's he lost, like, four or five finals now? Champions League final, Euros final. Yeah, but two very big games there. The penalty That's missing the quarters. Yeah. Yeah, you know, how is his mental fortitude? Pretty good, by the way. League, League Cup final, is it, as well? Probably. Before, when you know, when, when they sat Marina just before it, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 Ryan Mason. Yeah. They did that horrible graphic stitched him right up, didn't they? Like games managed or something, and he had two games under his belt. Don't do that to the guy. Come on. Fucking hell. He's just trying he's just out here trying to feed his wife and kids and you're embarrassing him like that on in front of the world. Absolute assholes. <laughs> Next up we had Wolves against Villa, and at the age of forty six, Totty came out of retirement to score the only goal of the game. Fair play to the bastards. You know what to say though, the first yards on it's not what? It's not him. Oh, for, different one. Fucking hell, that's a waste of time, isn't it? For fuck's sake. I have got Nish to sell this game again. What's he got? Oh, it's it's, it's totally. Um Spelt differently. I've got your good header. Here's mm. the two words I've got in my notes. <laughs> um, look like a good atmosphere as well. Like we, we slag off walls with it being boring, but it did, did look like a good atmosphere. Um, it was a derby though, wasn't it? So you'd have thought... I thought the atmosphere would have been right up there. Yeah, I mean, both not a lot to play for No. at this point. So, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, Joey, where did, what's going on with that fucking massive top you got on? Massive top. Well, you know, after the Leeds game, I thought to myself, I don't really want to be a football fan anymore. I'm going to expand my horizons, maybe pick a different sport. So this is actually an NHL jersey. NHL jersey, um, mm. ice hockey, for those who aren't familiar, National Hockey League, yeah. Uh, my mate got me it in Canada, shout out to Stu. Um, for the Vancouver Canucks, um, he's been a couple of times to watch him whilst he's been out there. So yeah, I'm a, I'm going to be a Canucks fan, I'm just going to go and watch ice hockey, maybe maybe do the podcast about ice hockey nowadays. Would you be up for that? Let's know. Next up, we have West Ham against Man United. And with Liverpool hot on the heels, it was imperative United didn't let top four slip. But it was David De Gea who looked like he'd been scuffed in lard who parried the ball into his own net. I hadn't seen a slip that big since my last bet. 48-fold. So, yeah, we touched on it earlier. They could actually slip, they could actually slip up. <laughs> they, Man United could fuck this up. Yeah, I think so. I think they're on a bit of a wobble. Like, I, I don't think... Some of Barton Haag emits a bit of nervous energy, I think. What? I, I've never been a fan of him. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I am. I've never been a fan. He wouldn't be my manager. I won't play for him. He doesn't look. Um, he doesn't look like he commands much respect around the place. But but he did make a big ballsy move by getting rid of Ronaldo. So I imagine that gained him. He probably needed to do something like that. 
in fact, because he came in, I bet, and the players were like, I'm not having this guy. I'm not having it. I do not respect him. So he's gone, who's the biggest... It's like going into prison. Who's the biggest bastard? Who do I need to start on here? And he's gone, Mr. CR7, swing your rock. And reluctantly, Ronaldo went. Reluctantly. Oh, well, yeah, I know. He fucking legged it out the door. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... So, yeah, what was I saying? I probably wouldn't play for him. I don't like him. Yeah, I think it's all about momentum, isn't it? Football looks like Liverpool have the momentum that Manchester United don't at this current time. So De Gea's error. Generally, it did look a bit like a piss take, didn't it? As if he'd been paid to do that. Well... Because it was awful. If I'm looking at... I was looking at it today. Like, I, I used to play in goal. Did you? <laughs> he, he's know. caught on the back foot. Obviously, he shouldn't... I do feel a slight bit, a slight bit sorry for him. Yeah. Do you? Well, because oh. obviously not at his level, he should be saving it, but he kind of gets caught on his back foot where he can't get a proper hand on it. Uh, I'm not making excuses for him. Why am I? Potentially. Sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just try and be a bit more fair to keepers because one, you know, if they make a mistake, it's a goal. And um... well, I should know. I did. I did tonight. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, made you know. a, I made a mistake and it was a fucking goal. And I didn't hear the, Do you know what pissed me off as well, Harry? I didn't hear the bastard end of it. Genuinely. Giving me loads. <laughs> Give me loads. I'm doing you a favour on my Monday night when I could have been recording this podcast or getting ready for the podcast, doing some research for the podcast. It's no podcast to get. This podcast is shit. <laughs> this podcast is shit. There's only a couple of people to blame and that's my teammates. And I've thrown them under the bus. I'm not asked about it. I may probably, but. Nah. You were ready. You were fucking bang up for it. Text me. Where are you? Next up, we had form against Leicester at the cottage. And if it was goals that the fans were craving, <laughs> they got it all right as it finished 5 3. Now, this is the team that I called the most boring team in the Premier League. And do you know what? I think they heard that. And it's motivated them. It's inspired them to be better, to be more entertaining, to be more interesting. So, thank you. I guess. <laughs> yeah, to be honest. Thank me. What stood out for me, which probably won't interest a lot of people, but uh, Tom Kearney scoring two. Just because, um, yeah, when he first started playing for Hull and he came through the ranks at Hull, I always thought he was there. He's going to be a good player. Like the best youth player I've seen at Hull in a long yeah. time at that point, anyway. And, um, but I was just looking at his Wikipedia and it said, um, for some reason, it mentioned that uh, when he played for, for Hull, Captain George Boateng described Kearney as being a potentially huge asset for the national team of England. Oh, Didn't, didn't happen because he played for Scotland. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I've actually messaged Tom Kearney on Facebook because back in the day, Tom Kearney, when he was about, I don't know, probably 18, 19, 20, something like that, he had like just a normal Facebook account that he like operated himself. So I think he played at Everton and scored against Everton, didn't he, if I remember rightly, good goal. And after the game, I messaged him on Facebook because I was friends with him. And I said, good goal, mate. And he replied saying, thanks, mate. It means a lot. <laughs> Cla- yes. Claims for, claims for him. He used to post like mad statuses though on Facebook saying like, uh, offer a kickabout. Anybody anybody fancy it? Meet me at Hull 3G. Like, literally. Really? Yeah. This was when he was like in the first team as well. So, Quality. Yeah, that Everton okay. goes this. Yeah. yeah. It was a good goal. Oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> I get a bit nervous talking about um, Amit, Tom. <laughs> but, you know, he's a good player, good technician, good left foot. Indeed. Uh, what Thanks. else can you say about that game? Not really a lot. Fuck off. Move on. Brighton Everton. Moving on. Brighton Everton now. Fuck me. Um, yeah. I ain't got an intro on Brighton Everton because it's literally happening as we speak. Um, something about. Something about. The toffees and the seagulls shitting on the top. I don't know, chewing them and eating them. So, uh, something about that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'll be honest. They have fucked my day right up, haven't they? Everton, you bastards. Unbelievable. Where have you pulled that from? Seriously, where have you pulled that from? I could understand Daesh coming in and making you more resolute, more solid. But to go and score five goals against Brighton, who have been fucking unbelievable this season. Now, that's that is impressive. I don't know what's happened there, do you? No, pretty well. well he's, but... he's yawning. <laughs> Can't be. He's yawning. <laughs> Not ass, mate. Well, you know, it's nearly two hours in here. Um, it's late. 34 seconds 
in was the first goal, though. Yeah. Which 34 seconds it took for them to take the lead, which could have, you know, propelled them to that performance. Yeah. Yeah. Get an early goal, it settles the nerves, I guess, doesn't it? Which... Yeah. But even at, even at 3 0, I was like, you never know. This second half could be interesting. But yeah, they did the it. job on them. So I got picked up by my mate when it was 3 0. And I got in the car and he said, guess what? Guess what the odds are for Everton? Uh, guess what the odds are for Brighton to win? So at half time, 3 0 down. Guess what the odds were for Brighton to win? Five to one. That that's mental. What for Brighton to win? Like, <laughs> I yeah, thought you were going to say something incredibly low. Well, it is. I think it was sevens or twelves or something like that. It was All mad. Right. It was mad low. Um, which is ridiculous, isn't it? Three 0 down in a Premier League fixture. Um, unbelievable. You you book. I don't know how you book his sleep at night. 